Hi, everybody. So I am going to do a little unboxing video for our kindergarten through fifth grade Sunday school in a bag that just went out to our families at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Um, I posted a video earlier that was, or a few days ago, that was for our middle and high school group, what they received in their bag. Um, and this one is, like I said, for our kindergarten through fifth grade bag. Um, and so the theme for the bags this month um, were our fourth principle. We believe that each person must be free to search for what is true and right in life. And that's how we kind of say it um, in words that children can understand. So there is a lot going on with this bag. Um, so I will walk you through it. Let's see. I put these in a Ziploc baggie, which I don't usually use, but these are being mailed out to some friends that we have in Texas who sign up for <laughs> Sunday school in a bag. So in order to keep them kind of separate um, from their siblings, that's why I put them in here. Okay, so first we have our principles that are on a sheet, um, just so that children are reminded of our seven principles. And then on the back are instructions for a butterfly mosaic craft. And there is a metaphor for what the butterfly is, um, how a butterfly represents spiritual rebirth and transformation. And so we have a butterfly cut out here. And then these are some foam shapes that you can kind of see um, where you just can pop these out and stick them on the butterfly and make yourself a little spring craft there with um, a little bit of a write-up for what the butterfly metaphor is. Next, we have um, some thoughts on creating a family altar at your home. And with that, we have a picture frame so that you can decorate your own picture frame and put in it something that is meaningful to you. And then I have here a few examples of what a family altar might look like, and then a sheet that has thoughts for um, what an altar is and some questions to ask, um, you know, think about some items that you might place on there. So that's that activity. And then along the lines with your altar, children did receive a chalice with their first Sunday school in a bag. And so we included um, some personalized family chalice lighting words with some prompts here. So it says, for example, we like this chalice to celebrate and let the children fill that in for themselves. We are a people of grateful for, and together we offer thanks and, so there's a few different chalice lighting thoughts there so that they can write their own with their families. And the next activity that I included are some bubbles and a loving kindness meditation that they can do with the bubbles. So the thought is that they would use this as a breathing exercise and a way to kind of ground themselves and think about things that are important to them. And so um, they would take the bubbles and blow them out. And um, with the inhales and exhales, say phrases such as, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be safe, may I be peaceful. Um, and then doing the, with a loving kindness meditation where you extend it out also. So you think about other people, you can think about people in your family, or you can think about even the people that you don't get along with and how they might need loving kindness as well. So there's that. I also included a prism viewer. Some of you might recognize these. It's kind of like a kaleidoscope thing where you look through it and you just see the world differently. And I talked a bit about how our um, fourth principle is about the search for truth and meaning and how we all see the world differently. Um, I also included a memory game. And so um, this one has here at the very end here, mix and match. So you can cut these out and do um, a memory game. And I wrote a little write up about how it's important for us to think about the things that what we believe are important and true. And a memory game can remind us of this because some things really might stand up, out to us, right? Like we might remember where something is in a position because it's meaningful to us. And so 
we remembering where the dog is because we have a dog, we like dogs, dogs are important to us. And like, oh, I know I saw the flower, but flowers aren't as important to me. So for some reason that doesn't register quite as much. Um, I have our story of the flaming chalice. So this is just a story that uh, parents can read uh, at the table. Um, since this is the principle about the search for truth and meaning, we have some of these um, search and find sheets, which some of you might remember from like the Highlights magazine, that kind of a thing. And then we also have some coloring sheets that have really cool quotes that have to do with our search for truth and meaning. So we have quotes such as, enjoy this moment, or we are made of star stuff. And then finally we have, um, oh, and I did include of course some colored pencils so that they can color those in. And then um, because Easter is right around the corner, we have a chalice Easter egg and another one that has three chalices. Um, in Lincoln, there's something called the Great Hunt for Hope or the Great Lincoln Egg Hunt. There's a Facebook page and you might see eggs on people's windows. And so they can print and color that and participate in that. And I thought that we might just make that extra special for our church and include some Easter egg chalice uh, pictures that they can hang on their windows as well to be a part of that thing in our community as well. So there you have it, our kindergarten through fifth grade Sunday school in a bag activities. If you and your family did not sign up initially when I put out the sign up, but you're thinking, oh, these look kind of fun. I think I'd like to be a part of the next one. Shoot me a message, um, religiousgrowth at unitarianlincoln.org, and I would be happy to include you in on our next round. So thanks so much for watching the video. Um, please feel free to share if your family is enjoying these activities. Um, post on our social page. And um, yeah, we really love to see the pictures of you doing Unitarian Church of Lincoln at home. So thanks everyone. So long.